Okay, so let's talk some strategy. The one I have River doing, who's out there doing his Apex funding stuff. He is doing a simple cadence strategy. Um, I have him press F11. So F11 is the Fib Circles tool, this crazy thing. And you basically just mark three, wait for there to be three losers in a row, which is sometimes hard to find because <laughs> When you have winner, winner, chicken dinner all the time, that's a winner, that's a winner, that's a winner, that's a winner. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four winners in a row. But what you want to wait for is wait for three losers and then start taking some trades. And you can do something as simple as two winners. After two winners, reset the cadence. All right, so if you're taking your notes, you want three losers, two winners, then restart again. Wait for three losers, take two winners, and this is called stacking. Write it down, <laughs> stacking. Stacking cash. So how do you judge a session? You know, we have a couple ways. You have 60 to 90 minutes, or now you have cadence sessions. And if you've got enough energy for it and didn't stay up all night trying to fix your live stream like I did, you might have enough energy to run something like this. Um, it doesn't really matter which time frame you go on as long as you remember the relative to your targets and your risk. So I like to take the risk off of the lowest time frames because I'll kind of give you a measurement right here. Like this is on a two range, but if I were to measure with the ruler tool, so on an entry, you're probably going to get in right about here. So we measure to the back of a Enigma and you'll see this is 21 ticks to the back of the Enigma from where you're going to enter. So the distance here to here, 21 ticks on the twos. So now you see why I go all the way down to the ones because then it's only about 15 ticks. And even with slippage, my max that I'm looking at is, you know, 15, 15 to 20 ticks. But remember my targets on these, man, these are like, you know, 20, 30, 40 some odd ticks. Again, they're really, this is fine tuned for 20 to 40 tick runs. And if you catch a runner um, to, you just hold out until you get an opposing signal. So that run off of that one, that's 65 ticks. Here to that cross, that's 37 ticks. This one to first cross, that's 19 ticks to the first cross. Pretty big numbers. Look at this one to the first cross. That's 43 ticks. Okay, so this one, these are losers, right? So this one didn't go. That one went. Now, if you were, if you're going to do target one to 15 ticks, which is what I recommend for you guys, target one. If you're going to do runner stuff, then you're going to go 15 ticks for target one and then try to hold your runner out. So if this one comes back, stops out, but you get to T1. In fact, one of my first plays while we were on the live stream, that's what happened, right? We got to target one that came back and you know, I, I didn't let it go all the way back to the back. I closed it out ahead of time before that. You can push it to break even. But let's say that you were gonna go through that cadence um, that I was just talking about a minute ago. So we know that this is a loser, right? So we had loser one, and then you see the series of winners, winner, 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 because even this one to the long side, this one up to the red, that's 51 ticks. Uh, but let's go, I mean, this that's a winner. Oh, let's shoot, big one, that's 62 ticks. But let's look at the losers here. We got one, two, that's a winner, because that was long, hello. 77 ticks there, Vinny, that's a winner, bro. You're too tired. Um, this one, I would say this one's a loser too. So yes, while it did kind of go, but it, it would stopped out before it went, you know, a bunch, a big run. So there you go. One, two, three losers. And what do you do? What's the rule? You see the cadence? So just mark them. One, two, three. All right. Now start slapping. Look at that. Winner, winner. And what did I tell you? After two winners, what do you do? Reset, start counting again. So could you avoid this one? Yes. Now you don't get this one. You have to wait a while. But what happens if you get two winners? That's stacking big cash. That's hundreds, could be thousands, depending on how many contracts you're running. Start over, count three, stack two. Count three, stack two, count three, stack two. 
Every time you have a back-to-back, -back, that counts as a loser, in case you're trying to follow along with the cadence strategy. These, as I've told River, I told him, when you see one of these, just mark it as a loser. Um, this one really didn't go too far, so I'll count that one as a loser as well. So we got two losers in a row, and look, boom, winner, winner, winner. See how it goes? Winner, winner, there's your two stacks, and here's your third right here. So did you see the three? Let's mark them up. F12, one, two, and three. One, two, three, what do we do? Take the next enigma, boom. There to there, how many ticks do you get? Well, 31 ticks, not too bad. Now we go long, takes it there, obviously. 28 ticks. You good with taking home 59 ticks times however many contracts you ran? Uh, yeah. About the next one. Okay, so are we surprised after three? We're going to see a winner. Yep, winner. Okay, here's a loser. Here's the loser. Hide in here. That one, you can almost just tell that one's going to be a dump, right? This one, eh. I'd count that one a loser, too. So, there's your one, two, there's your three. Was this one a winner? Yeah. That one? No, not so much. You literally have to wait for three before you get this one. So now, but I told River, this is kind of your worst case scenario. When you have three, you got one, your two, your three. Now you go, you get your winner. Okay. But then if you go through three losers again, remember, this is going to be your trade number one right here. And what do I mean by your trade number one? You're going to have five <laughs> trades, right? You have five trades to get two winners. So you have trade one, trade two, trade three, trade four, and then boom, there's trade number five, right? So there's your two winners. Your two winners were trade number one and trade number five. These stack. Now, why do I tell you to increase your trade size from trades one through five? All right, this is why you must have an account size that can manage that if you're trading my methods, my way. Make sense? Yeah, you do have to wait a while for, for three losers in a row sometimes. But sometimes you will have this. This is the worst case scenario where you have one winner and then you still are one, two, three, and you have to get your your second winner way over here and then yes, you get another and another. So there's your bonus trade afterwards. Um, but again, like what, what are the odds of that happening? Go back and see how often you know, and now I recommend you stack two. You don't have to stack two. You could just stack one. You could just go, okay, boom, catch one. Now I wait for a series. It just it depends on how risk averse you are. Every person is different. Okay, so like let's do another one. Here's uh here's a loser. There's one. There's a this kind of tucked in there. I'll count that one as a loser. There's two. And that one unfortunately is a winner, so we can't count that one. We kind of got a cluster here. Kind of crossed out all of these because they're all kind of losers. So one, two, three, take the next one, winner. Okay, here's the loser. Well, not really. I mean, eh, that one stopped out by a tick. Okay, I can't count that one as a loser. This one, we count it as a loser, why? Because we're back to back, right? This one, definitely a loser. Loser, not, yeah, you could have gotten something out of that, but not really, right? So one, two, three, and what do we do? We take that one and hopefully we turn it into a winner. Not perfect, but it's pretty awesome. Take into account time of day too. This is pre 9 a.m. I really don't recommend doing this pre 9 a.m. So this is 8.54. You want to do this after 9 a.m., especially between the hours of 9 to 11. According to our stats, historically, stats 9 to 11, best time of day to trade the Enigma. Any questions around simple cadence strategy around Enigma? And it's not the only way to play it. I'm just saying that is one way to play it. Be back online let's see if we get our third loser in a row right here so we can swing at the next one here's a fail right up top on a i consider a two direction fail all right there's our third fail right there perfect one two three all right load it up fingers over buys and sells i got right hand over the cell left hand over the buy cell building and q on the three yes cadence play two three to run one fail, two wins, so one, two, three, four, you got to count that one out, and then boom, you go with that one. Again, cadence strategy, working like a champ. You guys see that, right? One, two, three, okay, three didn't work. Um, technically four. So you lose one, because if you got caught in this one, be like okay so that's three cool i'm gonna go short oh shoot then this one comes up boom so a little small little loss close out 
you add that. So now this one, this cadence, you have four losers, boom. Now you go to this position. If you lost on this position with a three or four contract, how big do you get on this one? Four to five or four to six, boom, hit it. 50 minutes till the close, wait for some plays. So let's draw this one, F11. One, mm, that one's questionable, but because they're back to back, let's call that two. That's a winner, unfortunately. Okay, so technically, we've only got we've got two. We technically, need to wait for one more to have three for cadence strategy. We can also though take an Enigma plus audio box. Okay, so remember where our meat is all the way down here into these two. So if we get a run, target inside of these two lines right here would be a good target if we get an entry for a runner, or if we get an entry signal in this area, that would also be good for us as well. Um, so let's count up, let's count these up here. Bib dot NQ on the so floor. that one, that's one, that's two, that's three, right? And then this one's a winner. Are we surprised? No, did it go 20 ticks? It went 21 ticks and it's questionable. Um, but yeah, if it continues on, then winner, winner, this is the one to take, right? So if you're doing a cadence strategy, uh, you know, Mr. Three. River, um, <laughs> River would, uh, should know that one, two, three, and we enter in on this one. And again, we, we play the stats in our favor. Um, some people continue to try to, for whatever reason, they're not interested in stats. They still think that they can outthink it and it becomes a problem for them and they wonder why they can't you know, maintain their PA accounts, etc. They, yeah, uh, I mean, listen, I have my rules for a reason. They're there for a reason. Um, cadence wise, what do we got? Winner, 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 winner. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're due for a loser anytime now. That's another winner. That's, what is that, five winners in a row? Six, okay, five. So there's the first loser. That's a winner. One, two, three, four, five. That's five winners in a row. So be very careful. We may take a reversal off of a next one off of the ones on the threes. What are we looking at? One, two, three. I mean, all winners so far. Four, five. Wow, five winners here too. Five winners in a row for Enigmas. We are due for a reversal any time now. In fact, I will look for a reversal against one of these on the next. Exactly, reverse, Doug, 100%. See, you guys are smart. You guys are smarter than the average bear. Here we go. Five minutes now. Actually, four. Four minutes and 10 seconds. We just got the largest delta we've seen since 3.30. See this one right here? That The large, closest one to that was at 3.34. And this one was even bigger than that. There at 3.45. Watch for the setups. All right, am I going to trade against that, though? Uh, No. Okay, there we go. Finally, got our loser. There we go. Finally, anybody reverse that? Did anybody, were they brave enough to take that reverse? A tough one, but because of the giant delta down there, definitely impossible to uh, to grab that one up. Pops the top there. So there's our first. Finally. So five winners in a row. Finally, a little nub out there stopped it out just by a hair right there. All right, what's our time? 3.43. Plenty of time. Um, let's catch some cadence. So this one, um, we'll count that one. That one was, uh, that's a winner, unfortunately. So just got a one there. Those are, that's two Good winners talking, back to back. One, two, three, four winners back to back. That one's questionable. If you make say that one's five, technically it went to the back of it. So you could count that one out. But if you count that one as a win, one, two, three, on NQ2. Four, Fib dot NQ on the four. Five winners back to 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 back. So that is a 61 tick drop right there. So for our standard Enigma entry, we are going to be targeting for target one. I'm looking for a 20 tick off of the lower time frames. Um, you know, as you go higher and higher, like that gets larger, but um, we're looking for a 20 tick for T1, target one there, and then a runner standard operating procedure with the majority of these strategies again look feel free to do what you want but you guys are coming here to learn from me how do i trade them what's my strategy how do i approach these this is how i approach these strategies i'm looking for target one of 20 ticks and a runner 
what is the runner? The runner is going to hold until we reach an opposing signal. So for this one, I would be exiting on a green line right there. So target one, 20 ticks to get to 20 would be, uh, let's see, that's 31 to there. So oops, 20 is right there. Okay. So target one, we take that one off right there. That's your 20 ticks. And then your runner target goes right there, which is going to be exit to there. So that's 50. So I get uh, 70 ticks on a single trade entry right there. Now, one of the strategies around this is the cadence strategy. So let's talk about cadence. So cadence strategy, and we have a video on that. If you are going to go type in search, you want to search for, okay. Just type this into um, the YouTube search, mini e mini cadence hack or Algobox cadence hack and watch the video understanding cadence has to do with our uh, five trades up here. If you're looking at our little coins up here, the very, very top, see our 500 sheet up here. Can you see my hand up here? Okay. So the five coins there we are looking for in a series of five, we want to wait until we have three, um, failures. I hate to use the word failures, but that's what they are. Um, and then after you see three that don't work, three fails, we want to take the next one. So great example right here. So see, these really didn't get too much. I mean, you might say, well, it did go that direction. So technically speaking, you know, did that go, but did it go 20 ticks? I don't know. So if we were to go, you know, like peak to peak, maybe. Okay. Yes. That's technically 24 ticks, but on an entry, now, mind you, this can be solved by, you know, the bot, right? A bot could, you know, potentially enter in perfectly at the tip right there, but probably not, right? Our slippage and our first entry is going to be here. And if I were to, you know, get a perfect exit, you know, that's only 17 ticks. So I would call this a fail. And what's a fail? That means that the price went back behind the Enigma. So identify failures and identify three in a row. That's a cadence strategy. Okay. So I will wait to make sure that cadence is in my favor. You'll learn what that means if you go and watch that cadence video. But I'm gonna press F11 right here. So I'll call that a failure. I'll call this a failure. And the reason that is, is because price went back behind it without before it went 20 ticks. Although yes, this one went 20 ticks, but let's, let's pretend here for a second that that one's also a failure. This one is a clear failure, definitely did not go down. So um, for this little cadence scenario right here, you can see, did we have three in a row? Yes, one, two, three. So I want to start taking the next five. How do we work on that? Up here, top right hand corner of our screens, you see me placing our coins out here on my five trade sheet. I want to begin my five trades up top, okay? After I've got one, two, three. Very simple strategy like literally anyone can do this right a muppet can figure this out an ict student even fluffy here so did we have three in a row and then wins yeah look at that three in a row and then what about the one before it did that win is that a winner uh yeah winner winner chicken dinner because really you're only going to find you know it's rare to find three in a row and that's why i say it's a great way to do it it's just a strategy that i found that after you see three in a row, you're probably gonna get a winner. All right, so look, that's a that's a win. That's that's an easy, that's a win, right? Uh, that's a win, okay? So two, was that three winners? Yeah, three winners, big ones, okay? Now, here we go, that's a loser, that's a loser, right? Um, we count these when they are kind of back-to-backs like this. Um, I mean, yeah, technically this one didn't stop out, but this, we call this back-to-back, -back. actually, I'm glad this showed up. Since these are back to back, these oppose each other and they're close to each other. They basically cancel each other out and we count this as one loser. Everybody write that down in your notes, okay? This, when they're back to back, this is not two losers. This is one loser. This is if you are trying to adhere to the strictest definition of this strategy in its rules. That's one, okay? That one's an obvious loser. I mean, these both are winners. This, what's this called? Pop quiz. So next strategy, this is a double enigma right here. So this is double enigma, write that one down. Great strategy. I mean, like a boss, it does exactly what you might think it does when you've got double power. Oftentimes you're gonna get a double power out, big, big move out of this one. Let's see how that double enigma went. This double enigma, uh, pulling out a ruler tool here, even if you got in on the first one, added on the second one. So worst case scenario, that's 90 ticks. 90 ticks on the drop, 
you know, you get your 20. Yeah, you can slice and dice this any way you want. That right there, that trade alone, worth thousands of dollars if you are loading up on any kind of, you know, just base material level size. Now, let's see if prior to this, did we have three cadence? We got one. Um, this one. Yeah, I mean, sure, it went up, but uh, yeah, it didn't go, didn't go super far. We didn't get a rocket ship off of this. So I'm going to count that one. Obviously, one, two. Hopefully, we have a third one in front of it. And yes, how many is this? Pop quiz. What do we got right here? We got a cancel. I think we might call this one the flipper. Okay, we got a flipper. So is a flipper one fail or two? Yeah, well, it's a one, right? So there's your three. And look at that huge winner right everybody can see that i mean this is a this is a run and a half right but exit on the runner is that red right there we know that yes so let's measure it out so we get our 20 ticks 20 first hits is a hit right there yeah 20 hits off of this first mob up right doesn't stop out comes down and we ultimately end up going and exiting as soon as we see the red that goes 111 111 ticks for your runner Everybody see how powerful the cadence strategy is and why um, I say, hey, you know, um, you want to keep it simple. Okay? You could do this while you're learning other things. I want you to understand what I just said there. If you're going to do the learn while you earn, Enigma is powerful enough to play this simple cadence strategy thing. And you can probably do quite well with it. Again, I'm not guaranteeing it, but you could probably make some decent money off of that. Does everybody see how you can make some money? If you think you can make some money with that, you know, without much study. I mean, did that take? I, I just taught this to you in a few minutes while we're gabbing about other things, right? Like this is not a hard strategy to understand. You can start trading this on Monday, and this is pretty much agnostic to high time frame direction. But let's just say, if you really wanted to add one more, you know, slice into this, sure, it'd be handy to take it from you know a higher time frame, go in the direction, you know, your bigger plays could go in the direction, but if you're just trying to get 20 ticks, you know, grab a 20 bag, you can grab a 20 bag against the high time frame. High time frame might be going up, but you know, there's gonna be waves of pullback, right? The whole tide wave ripple thing. So the tide is rising, but you're gonna have a wave, right? So waves crash, right? So, you know, while this is coming down, can you get 20 ticks out of it? Sure, you know, can you get 20 and then maybe a little bit more, maybe get to a 30 tick for a runner? Sure. Get my point. So that's why I kind of go, you don't have to, like maybe you never studied high time frames or you're not ready for high time frames yet. Or if you're just brand new to everything, a real easy way to, you know, take Enigma and let Enigma do the work for you. Yeah, I mean, yes, Enigma literally is designed to basically do the work for you. And it is the, you know, earn while you learn tool. This is a triple Enigma short. This one, this guy gets in the way there, um, but just gets barrel rolled and your final exit there for a runner. All the way down there let's just see how big of a run that was so the triple enigma to the crush that's 152 tick drop to the exit for the next enigma to the long side and you can see the power there pretty clear right um yeah we could do that pretty much uh pretty much all day double enigma single enigma winner fail fail okay let's see look there's two failures in a row so let's do f11 fail Fail, hopefully we get another one. Yep, and fail. What do you think the next one's gonna be? We're looking for winners, right? Is that a winner? Yes, did that go 20 ticks? Yes. I mean, you can almost just, you can count on this. That's 60 ticks, folks, look at it. You're like, that's not 60 ticks of any. I know, it doesn't look like it, but it is. Look at it. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you've learned. Watch this next video.